Uh, but right now we're going to walk through this class, see this four winds. Yep. Hey, Tim, is this what, did we take a four winds down to Nashville on our Nashville trip? Yeah. Yeah. These are, these are awesome. Yeah, they are. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's talk about it. So this is the Thor Four Winds 25M. Uh, this specific one is on the E450 chassis. Uh, if you're fancy like me, though, and you like a Chevrolet, you can't get a bow tie. All <laughs> right. Uh, it'd be the 3500 series, though. So uh -huh. um, walk a little bit back here. You got some storage under on the uh, passenger side here. So that way, when you're camping underneath the awning, you can get some stuff out, cook. Um, bigger pass or bigger storage back here. Yeah. Of course, that bucket that you just tried you to just give away there. That. Yep. Now, is that, that's the exact same bucket, isn't it? I, I believe it I is. I can tell because it's so poorly packed back together. Yeah. I just kind of threw the stuff in there. Yeah. Big old awning. Yep. Almost the length, pretty much the length of the, the RV itself with the, uh, the lighting underneath to make sure you can see what you're doing out here at nighttime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Does have an onboard generator. It's on the other side there. Okay. As well as a propane tank and everything. Love it. So. It's sharp. Just the white color. It's just, it's just pretty. Right? And yeah. this is, this is, is this paint or sticker? Uh, so on this one, I believe it's a sticker. Yeah, it's yeah. a sticker, yeah. Still you can't go soft. with the full body paint on this one, though. You can? Like, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, should we get inside? Absolutely. Let's go inside. So like I mentioned uh, before we came in here, Tim and I did a road trip for uh, an RV show a couple Christmases ago, and we took a four-way. This is different. This is, this is awesome. This is a totally different setup. I haven't seen a setup like this yet. Oh, yeah? This is cool. This is it cool. So, of course, you got the overhead bunk here above the cab, uh, TV up there, so you can watch it while you're eating. Uh -huh. uh, and a big arm. Look at that. That's, that whole yeah. thing is an arm, so you can swing this thing around. Yep, swings all the way in, yeah. and out of the way, so that way if you have kids up there, they're not going to kick it. Oh, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a very good point. Um, um, so you've got, uh, obviously, this is the, the, the cab <laughs> is where you're going to drive the thing. Typical uh, Ford chassis up there. Yeah. Um, so Ford controls if you're used to them. Pretty simple. Self-explanatory. Yeah. Uh, the bed, obviously, we have this. This would be a bed. You'd put this down here so you have a full bed so nobody's falling in here. But it's so nice that you can take that up. Correct. And not feel like you're ducking underneath to get into the thing. Yeah. yeah. Plenty of headspace if you're a big guy get in there. Yep. Awesome. So the uh, dinette area over here. Yep. Booth dinette. Of course, it does slide down to make a bed there if you want to hold anything mm -hmm. and of course store winds are starting to, or four winds is starting to do something very nice you can start charging your phone back there there it is and it beeps and lets you know nice so that's awesome storage underneath the seats yep storage underneath the seats uh, pull out drawers go almost all the way back mm -hmm. uh, and of course your seat belts there so that way you can sit yeah awesome uh, how about this uh, how about the kitchen uh, Nice countertops. They're not solid surface in this. Um, I believe you can upgrade to solid surface. Okay. And then, but nice single basin sink with. Still very board. nice looking. Oh yeah. Yeah. Simple little design. Three burner stove. Yep. Little oven uh, underneath. Is there an oven? Yeah, there's yeah. an oven, isn't? It? Yeah. Couldn't tell if that was a, a drawer or an oven. And then your uh, convection, nice convection yeah. oven. More storage underneath the sink, yeah. obviously. Plenty of storage. Comes with the trash can too. Nice. Uh, this little little pantry area. I love that. This is we saw something like this earlier. That's so smart mm -hmm. to have this where you pull it out and find everything you need, as opposed to reaching back. Now sometimes you're gonna need more space like this, and that's fine. But I love that they've added this. Well, here. when you have to reach in the back, that's where you buy and end up with five salt things because yeah, you forgot you had exactly. It. Absolutely, absolutely. So a little bit of privacy here if you want some privacy if you're. Back here, hanging out. We got a TV back here, a second TV. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the this would be the bedroom. Yep. So this is the bed. Of course, it's a Murphy bed in this camper. Uh, one big slide. Uh, it's actually really easy to to use. So uh -huh. uh, if you want to take it down, you want, yeah, let's yeah. do it. Let's, right. oh, we haven't taken one down yet. So here, I'm we'll just pull these off. Yep. Okay. Set those out of the way. You want to carry yeah. yours? So we're pulling this off of here. Yep. There we go. And just pull forward, kind of pull oh, these legs out. Oh, yeah. Nice queen bed. There you go. And then just like you said, the TV's right across from me, so. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah that was really easy. Nothing to it. No. And then again, a little bit of privacy. You pull the curtain all the way around. Yep. Yeah. Love you it. Do have, and 
you know, a lot of people ask, you know, where's the charging port so I can charge my phone, my uh -huh. low clock, all that. Right there to your left. Yeah, right down here. Right down there. Get this. This will hook back on to here. There you go. Yep. And Locks there's another there's one. one over there, too. Yeah. Yep. Great. I kind of like that they, and this is kind of cool. <laughs> they just threw a little picture on there mm -hmm. just, to, just to class it up a little bit. Big old mirror. That's nice. Uh, some counter space underneath the TV. Yeah, for a little coffee maker mm -hmm. or yeah, whatever you want to put there. It's great. And then the bathroom, of course. I am six foot. This is, uh, it's a good thing this is here for me. So above me, though, is another six inches worth of space. So mm -hmm. You have plenty of room in here to, uh, to shower. Uh, the the uh, sink, it's not a huge sink, but plenty of room for, for whatever you need to do there. The uh, medicine cabinet, it's toilet, you have plenty of cabinetry in here. Plenty of room for, for uh, everything from linens to, you know, bathroom supplies. Oh, oh yeah, it's plenty of room, more than, nice big more space than in the bathroom yep. of my house. Yeah, 